My name is Tom Muller. Uh, we farm north of Wyndham, Minnesota. I farm with my dad, uh, Dave Muller, and my brother, Steve. We farm about 2,600 acres. 1,300 of those are strip till that we plant corn into. And the, the soybeans are no-tilled in the corn stalks. And uh, we're in a strip till field right now. This field has been strip tilled for oh, probably 15 years continuous. And we love what's going on with the soil. We see a lot of improvements in the soil. Uh, to begin with, you can see a lot of residue on the field here remaining from uh, the um, soybean harvest. So we're protecting our soil to start with. When the rain hits this residue, it doesn't erode the soil. It just slowly trickles off and then infiltrates to the ground. And what we have on the soil, we have get lots of holes in the uh, soil from worms especially and from the old roots. So here's a good worm hole right here and you see all these little roots remaining there. That's given us uh, all the infiltration that's superior in our strip till. So in Minnesota, uh, usually the lack of moisture is our problem, but when we get rain, it goes right in our soil. It doesn't run off. And, it, and doesn't run off, doesn't take our fertilizer away. Our fertilizer is right down in this strip. Um, it's about, oh, four to eight inches deep. In this strip, we put in nitrogen, potassium, uh, phosphorus and uh, probably some zinc and sulfur and now we're going to plant right on top of this in the spring with no additional tillage. We're ready to go um, and our, our soil is protected. The worms are healthy. They haven't been hit by a bullboard plow and so they're uh, able to take all this residue down. What fascinates me is uh, in July all this residue will be gone because the worms pull it down in the ground to line their tunnel. They like to bury the residue. You can't do it for them by tillage. So we'll, um, we'll, find, we'll use RTK to plant on this strip in the spring. We'll, uh, we'll find it after driving it and then just dial it in with our AB line and away we go. Um, we've been doing this about 20 years. Um, we built our own strip tiller in 1994 and it was 12 rows wide but we and in those years we were probably doing about 800 acres ourselves and we shared that strip tiller with another farmer that had about 400 acres so we put it to work and um, but now our, our co-op does it I just noticed something here this is a um, this is a worm casting right here, so there should be big holes in here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a night crawler hole. <laughs> Talk about good way to get water in the ground. That's, a, that's the holes we have in our soil to uh, let the water in. And the, when those worms um, process the soil, it passes through their gut and um, it just, you could have a really nice, uh, pot of soil if you had worm castings. You can go to garden centers and buy worm castings. But that's just, look at that, it's huge. <laughs> so these worms are big. You get, it's a little scary out here in the summer. 